So we're having tornado warnings. Oh shit, I got a... Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's coming from Lake Vesuvius. It went, my first warning was six and a half to 45 and it was ripped up. Electricity just went was, out. Uh, just a few minutes ago and it was at 70 miles an hour and it just went up. So it added another tornado warnings to Atlanta. Yeah. Did you take the blankets off? They're behind you, you just stepped over them. They blew off. Oh. When I woke up this morning, they were already on the ground. Right, you can see the wind. Like that's rain. Like you, there's usually trees behind there. Yeah. Whoa. Oh god, I don't like this. You what do we do? Open that door. We're not opening it, but what do we do? Lock it. Oh shit! What was that? You have siding. Lock the screen door. Shut. I did. This is the warning that we got. Tornado warning. And it's area until 11, so it's currently 10.55, so we have a couple more minutes. That was crazy. So right now it's just raining. And the wind stopped. What's up, everybody? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. So I started out the vlog with the storm, which we actually had a tornado. That was everything that just happened. But we're going to go out and we're going to go see all the damages that it did. This is the first time I've ever been around a tornado or anything. I think there's supposed to be another storm coming through, but I'm not for sure. Is there supposed to be another storm coming through? Yes. Yeah. It looks like we have spring out. We have another chance of another tornado. We had an e uh, S2. It's not confirmed yet, but we had a small, uh. small tornado, yes. <laughs> I've been editing the vlog, but I heard you say something about there was an 18 wheeler that flipped over. It was bridge. yeah on the bridge on the 31st Street on the Parkville Bridge. It wasn't a full 18 wheeler. It was like a small oh. like utility truck kind of 18 wheeler looking thing. Got a hold of my grandma because South Point had it really bad, and she called us, so she's okay. And we passed a couple things, which I was on the phone, but I'll end up showing you when we go back through. Yeah, because that's right by the house. Do you see where the section of the roof over there is gone? Right oh now. yeah, I see it. It? The whole roof is gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. I need to put under. Oh my god. The whole roof is gone. Yeah. Wonder if there was any kids in that part. No, no they're on oh, spring. They're, they're, on on spring. Spring. Yeah, they're on spring break. Then why did Alligator Jackson say that kids are Cabell shut down? Cabell County is like three. Cabell County. Oh my god. Cabell County is also on spring break. Look, that's the roof. Oh my god. Laid it back. Look at the mailbox. Oh, the poor mailbox. Aww. Oh my god, that is crazy. We can see the inside of. Oh my god. Yeah, there's I, no roof. That is crazy. Roofing companies here. I always wanted to see a real tornado. But it sucks that I couldn't go outside to like see it, see it. We only got an edge of it. That was what the tornado was. Yeah, and we just like live right over there. We that... thank God got the edge of it. Yeah, we got, we just got the edge of it. Did you see when I looked outside and you yeah, saw that the, 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 the rain, rain was, was swirling? Okay, that was the edge of the tornado. Whether it hasn't been confirmed yet, but with that damage and with all the damage around this area, there had to be because we had an EF2 warning. It's an F. An F2. That's what this this morning the 10 o'clock alarms and it was it, trying to tell everybody. Yeah, it was trying to tell everybody. And then that was 70 miles. And then while we got it again, it because it bumped up to 80 miles per hour wind. I hear fire trucks. There's a sign down right there. And that sign was over here. Like Do you see those cinder blocks? It was underneath those cinder blocks. Yeah, oh, there's a trash can. Yeah, there's a trash oh, yeah. can. Yeah, there's a, a <laughs> part of the trash can and the rest of it's over here. There's somebody's trash can all the way over there. I can see it. Yeah. There's more. We used to do this. Okay, so 10 years ago, I think it's been about 10 years ago. Oh, hold on. What? Go ahead, go on up. He can see it. Look at the trampoline. Oh, so his trampoline blew away. 
You say hold on, and I think like there's I'll something. Bet you, you were talking. I said hold on. Oh, okay. the lights are up here, Al. We had a warning ten years ago. Uh, there's a place up there too. Oh, there's a record. Oh, oh, is that little green car garden rack? I don't know. I can't tell. But I think they're directing everybody that way. It looks like there's they're blocking Proctorville for something. Anyways, about 10 years ago, there was another tornado warning. Like, well, this area is very rare to get tornado warnings. Like, we yeah. are in a valley. Like, we don't get tornado warnings at all. Ask what happened. Ask what happened. What happened? Bad, bad storm. Okay. Bad storm. That's all I said was bad storm. I don't know. They're directing everybody this way so I can go back roads and get to Rockville. This, this area is very rare to get tornadoes at all, but 10 years ago, they one hit hit the ball field. There's a roof to something. Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't remember too much of it. I just remember that there was a bunch of trees at the ballpark over here. There was a bunch of trees and debris and everything, and we stopped one time, didn't we? And we asked one of the firefighters what happened, because I don't even think that we were home at that yeah. point. We had left and we, we just was, came. We was going to Beach Fork. He said that there was a small tornado that touched down over at the ball field. But it wasn't very like serious because nobody. It wasn't strong enough to really hurt it. Yeah, it wasn't really strong enough to hurt anything. But this one, this one seems a little more intense. <laughs> but I'll tell you, when I was younger, 12, 13, there was one that went up the back of this hill over here. We could see it from the backyard. Just come up the backyard. It, it hit Scott Town. It come up the hill and just bounced and just took all over, just broke up. So we found out that night that Scott County got hit. So they got Proctorville completely blocked off. Oh yeah, McDonald's sign got tore up. Kroger sign is down here. Long sign. Oh my god, there's some chairs if you want to. You can hear all kinds of fire trucks over there in Huntington. There's a sign that's broken. It snapped in half. Mark asked if we were okay. He said, y'all good? I heard about the storms up there. I said, y'all were okay. Thank you, y'all good? Yeah, I was like, I don't know if he knows that you're with me or not. There's a bunch of random chairs. It looks like it's somebody's sheet from their bed. Yeah. I think it's from that junk place back there. Mark said, yeah, it didn't get nearly what y'all got. Y'all need anything holler. There's people on the roof over there inspecting it. On what roof? Faces. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that's Kroger's sign right there. Well, that tornado really hated Kroger's. That's insane. Look at all this stuff all over the road. Can we go straight through? No. Okay. You can see the storm clouds over here. Yeah, it's, there's another one coming through. It's about two hours out, but I think what I'm gonna do if we actually have a tornado touchdown where we have to, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run across the field and get under Rick's building and hold on to those poles. That's what I think, that building is so secure, it's heavy duty and those poles I don't think would move. So I think that's what we should do. Cause the trailer, there's no safe space in a trailer because it's up. You think it's take a trailer? Yeah, it's just gonna take it. It's gonna take it and it's gonna fly with it. Especially ours, cause ours ain't tied down, I know it's that. No, like that wind was rocking our trailer. Yeah, I, mean, I felt was, the trailer move. It was moving the trailer, it was bad. That's why when I saw the rain twist like that, I saw it with my eyes twist. Yeah, I and I started shaking because I'm like, that's that's not that's not cool. <laughs> I don't know if I got it on film or not, but I got the trees bending down, and we I can show them what it looks like now because in my video it's just a 10 second video because it was starting to get real bad, but the trees were like this. That's yeah, before I grabbed the camera, Jen was looking outside. And you could see the rain just like it was swirling yeah, like this. Swirling. And that's when I was like, went to go grab my camera. And then by the time I got my camera, it was like already on top of us. One thing we need to do. I need to get tie downs. We need to get tie downs. That's one thing I want to do. Uh, actually, I don't need the tie downs. There's tie downs in the ground and tie downs on the trailer, but we need to get the cables to connect them. Okay, we, so we just need cables? I just need cables. We'll get, we'll get cables because that, that one was terrifying. I always heard that March comes in like a lion, or comes in like a lamb and out like a lion. But April come in like a lion. But yeah, April came in like a lion. We're gonna have shitty service and we're gonna have probably no Wi-Fi for a little bit. Our Wi-Fi is off right now, but I'm gonna show you why. There's a pole that we passed because I couldn't film it because I was talking on the phone <laughs> with my grandma. It's completely snapped in half unless there's already people working on it. I don't think so. I haven't seen a demo. This I've seen is crazy. Some that they ended up. 
Yeah, like, South Point got it a little. I always want to be like far away to see a tornado, but I don't think I would want to be in it. Yeah, I don't want to be in it, but we we were. I it mean, would be cool though to be a storm chaser though. I would. I we have always me and Mom has always talked about being a storm chaser. Like I love kind of the thrill of it of chasing the storm, but also seeing it from a distance and like, just watching it. Like I've always been obsessed with weather, except look tree. Oh, their whole tree snapped in half. It missed their house just by a smidge. Yep. When I was a kid, I used to be so scared of thunder and lightning. Like, I used to be the scaredest until my grandma, she would always sit at her bedroom window every single time we had a storm, and she would just watch. I remember one time talking to her, I was like, why are you by the window? You have to get away from the window. And she was like, just come and sit with me and watch it. And I did. I remember sitting in her lap, and she held me while we watched the lightning and, and listened to the thunder. There? I do not remember. Probably asleep. See, I was always told growing up that when there's a storm and there's lightning that you're supposed to stay away from the windows, you're not allowed to take a shower, stay off talking on the phone, you know that turn off all your electronics, everything. You know that. That's probably a telephone pole, that's why we, our Wi-Fi's out. Look at this pole right here. It completely snapped in half. So mostly the only damage back here blew the doors open and it blew the couch down. The big couch that was leaning up here to hold this door closed, it fell completely down. I think that's the only thing that honors a tree limb fell. But they have Proctorville completely blocked off where nobody can go through. Jen has a video of what happened in Proctorville. I'll end up showing you guys. Like the whole fire department building just collapsed. And here's a whole nother storm coming. And this is the building that Jen was talking about, that if there was a tornado, well, there was a tornado, but we didn't know it was actually going to hit us. We just had a tornado warning, but the tornado actually hit us. But this is the building that she's talking about if we would run and hold on to those poles. It's insane. I got a hold of my grandma, so my grandma's okay. And Milton had it really bad. So I'm gonna have to end up trying to get a hold of my mom to see if my mom's okay. It's just crazy. The, the that you hear is wind. And then I screen recorded this. This is what happened in Proctor Road. I got more pictures of the firehouse. You see that this is brick. Yeah. That's been there all my life. I don't even know how long it's been there. What? The firehouse. Because it you'd never used to it be... used to be a gas station. Yeah, it used to be a gas station. And then it used to be something else. Because it, yeah. it sat empty for a while. But this building has always been there. Yeah, and then it's been there since I was 10 years old. Oh, now here comes the rain. Sorry. You can see the clouds over this way. I hear a little bit of thunder. Look how low those clouds are. that way so he gets it first and then it's us uh, he said it's getting pretty bad there he's this way misdirection Arms this way and he's that farther on down that way Ironton's not that way yes Ironton is that way the storm comes from Ironton this way in the turn and the okay technically it's like that way it's not that's that way that's Canova you gotta remember you got bands you're going around it's I this way I promise you it's this no. way that is Galpolis. Galpolis is that way. He's more <laughs> over this way. And okay. Galpolis is more over this way. Okay. You're, you're right. I know I'm right. Okay. I'll keep an eye on the clouds. Okay. These ones are kind of low. But... Irish is not that. <laughs> oh my. So you're telling me Galpolis is this way, but Ironton is that way? Could you go up and you know the big bend at South Point, you go around? That way! No! You go straight that way, but then you're coming back this way. How do I get way. from South Point? I'm not trying to raise my voice. How do I get from Proctorville to South Point straight? What way do I go? If, look, I'm facing you. Ironton right to South Point? No, I didn't say Ironton from South Point. Listen to what I'm saying. I, how do I get from Proctorville to South Point in a straight shot? Which there way? There is no straight shots. 
Because you gotta go around that great big hill before you get to South I don't run 52. You in your head, you're thinking that big round. You're going a bend, Linda. You're going whoop, and you're going. What way are you going after you hit the bend? You you bend, but then you're whoop straight. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I'm sitting here. Oh my godding. South Point and Ironton and Hanging Rock are that way. I'm gonna point that way. I'm the left. I have to go. These clouds are right here are really low. Look at all of them. It's now raining harder. She this is a tornado. Years, a whole mess. Someone said there's supposed to be another storm coming by. So basically three storms. The first one, the second one, which it just rained and had a little bit of wind and thunder. And now I don't know if there's supposed to be another one or not. But Bill got here at Marveau with him. Can you see out the back window if I put my cue stick in the back window? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to make room here. Boy, I want up front. I, well, get up front then. Shut I gotta up. have room. You got plenty of room back here. No, I don't. Leave me the hell alone. I'm gonna whip your ear balls. I need this in my car. Look. It's got like a little. Yeah. Be good to me. I'm pregnant. Does this one roll down now? Yes. Yeah. How far along are you? Nine months? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. <laughs> Watch this. Get your seatbelt on. Wait just a second. Settle down, Keith. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Bill. Oh, that guy has been like it for a while. Oh, he broke his phone. Again. He broke it for a lot up there this time. Jesus, criminy. You don't like your phones, do you? Next time you need a case besides that damn black thing. Yeah, you need an actual like case case for it. What's that thing? That is just, that's a holder. That's a holder to carry it. Every time you take your phone out, it's out of its, its case. That's just a phone holder. Where's your shoes? On my feet. No, they're not. I can see you're barefooted. My one foot is right now because I'm driving. Well, you got to have your shoe off the Bill, drive for it. Because I can't feel the gas pedal on the brake. Oh, bullshit. Fall back in it. <laughs> if I have tennis shoes on, I can do it. I can drive with them on. But where I have sandals, I can't. Look at this. There's a section right here that you can turn around it. up here. Look, it's WS or no. It's what is it? Eyewitness News, Channel 8. All of them classrooms down there. That section They don't have Crockett Road blocked up anymore, so we're going to go see what all happened in Crockett Road. All these fire trucks are crushed. This is the side view. That is crazy. All from a tornado. Well, telephone pole right here. The telephone pole. There's wi there's wires down there, Mom. Yeah. Where do you want me to go? Turn back out this way by the at the red light. Turn left. See that big house? That might be part of the. That is the roof of the fire department that went onto the neighbor's house. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Look, there's even stuff from it over here. Uh -huh. I saw that on the Facebook post that uh, the roof landed on their house, on a neighbor's house. That's part there. of it. Although there's a tree down right there. Get their porch right off of that way. on the back of their truck. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, gosh. Gosh. Yeah. That truck. Now we're gonna see what the damages are here in Huntington. I don't know. Nothing's been really been reported. Uh, Fifth Street has some damages. Fourth um, Avenue had damages. Yeah. I know 20th Street, which is how rare, was flooded, but the Vinox, if you get very much rain, floods this place. 
Well, we was going to go over to eat at the hospital, but we don't know if it's open, so we decided to come over to McDonald's. <laughs> They're taking forever. My stupid straps on my purse got twisted and would not untwist. Ow! She hit me! Cute. And look, we're, you wonder where's our food, right? Are you wondering where's our food? It's actually still in McDonald's because they wanted us to pull over so they could make it. But these two fools decided, oh, we want McDonald's anyways. Yeah, so we got our drinks, but... Well, we look like a fool! <laughs> <laughs> we look like people that are mad at our drinks and bringing it back in. <laughs> we're being not, Karens. This is not diet. <laughs> this has ice in it. This has sugar in it. <laughs> We're not like those people. I feel embarrassed if I take my food back, if they made something wrong. Yeah, I, just, I feel I embarrassed. Just letting you guys know that we made it home. I didn't vlog anything about McDonald's. I was so hungry that I just ate the food. The internet is back on for right now, so I already got the vlog uploaded. I wanted to hurry up and get it uploaded before the next storm comes through. Just in case the internet goes back out again. We're going to get ready and feed the babies. They're sleeping right now, but they're so cute. It's so cute because they're asleep. And I'm about to ruin it. <laughs> but they need to eat. Watch, as soon as I sit my hand down here, they're gonna all wake up and start screaming. <laughs> Hi. Of course it would have been him. Hi. Hi One of the Oreo lookalikes. They're loud. This one and the other one, like, I don't know who's louder, that Tigger one or this one. Hi. He got his little belly full. He's like, who, me? He's I'm like, no, I didn't. Oh, you're a liar. You were just falling asleep. Oh, there's the purse. Listen. They're the cutest. <laughs> Look, you talk about how cute he is, and he's like, well, no, not me, I'm not cute. One down, three to go. <laughs> Look at that full belly. Who's next? Here we go. Yeah. The other Oreo. Yeah, they're twins. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're not going to fight me? I don't know, it might look like in the video that I'm like squeezing this really hard. I am, but that is, <laughs> I'm not drowning them. It's this bottle. It's really hard to press the bottle. And we, there's multiple holes pressed in it. We're going to try to see if we can find a different bottle that's easier. And I always try to keep my hand right here because they want to feel like they're on mommy. Sometimes it's a struggle bus, huh? Yeah. Do you have milk that's poured out? Yeah. It's a little bit of a struggle, but once they realize, like, hey, I'm getting fed, you see, like, it comes natural to them to press up against mom. And, like, I'm trying to keep my hand there, but also having to squeeze doesn't help. But I need to find a new bottle. Maybe they'll have some at Walmart. Look at this little face while I'm feeding. Like, look at it. Would you look at it? It's the cutest. You can't deny the little face. <laughs> I love the little paws that they hold onto the bottle. Mm hmm Look at that. We traded off. <laughs> They're so cute. Aren't they? They're adorable. Look at the little hand. <laughs> oh, what a judge. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Cutie little patootie. This is a little Tigger one. He's like in a burrito. We call this kitty burrito. I found out it works really well. I usually put all my kitties in kitty burritos if I need to do something to them. Oh, look how cute his little face is. He has orange on him. I think he's so cute. I think he's my favorite out of all of them. Oh, look. I love when they put their little hands out and they put their hands on the ball. It's so cute. He was mad because I woke him up. Yeah, but you need to eat, which is such a good sign that all of them are eating. Mm -hmm. All of them are eating. All of them are latching on. They're all peeing. I've had two poop. We're doing good so far. He's slowing down. I don't know if he just... They might not be too hungry. Let me see what he does when I take it away. Wait. Oh, did you get it all over your little face? 
Are you still hungry? Huh? Or you just want to sleep? Oh, you just want to sleep? You just, do you got the potty? Huh? <laughs> He's so mad. Do you need a potty? He really is falling asleep like this. <laughs> He's so mad at me when I woke him up. Come here, you're gonna be mad at me. Oh, I know, you're gonna be mad at me. Your belly doesn't look that big. Are you sure you're not hungry? Did that he was... just fall asleep or is he just being dramatic? All right guys, that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.